it's the afternoon of July 5, and I've pretty much spent all day, well, it's only four o'clock, but all day making the handle to pull the cannon around. Now, it, it looks real simple, but it's a little more sophisticated. So I can grab a hold of this handle and wiggle it a little bit, and there are pins. And there are pins that fit inside here. The pins were made on a lathe. So that's why there's a square left side and a round right side. And then of course this mount, this, uh, this club that mounts with this pivot, uh, that was done with the lathe as well. And uh, so it was turned, it was turned and then drilled out. And then I also reduced the diameter for the handle, but Anyway, I guess it's pretty straightforward. We just push down and then we can pull it around however we want. So it works really well. I don't have to worry about it coming out because I machined it to about uh, 15 thousandths tolerance, enough that wetness shouldn't bother it, but tight enough that it is wedged when you pull it. So I am having increasing doubts that this wasn't made by Hearn Ironworks. Uh, there are a couple reasons. One is that when I spoke to the manufacturer, he told me that on the back side of the trunnion, there would be a letter H that uh, on one of the sides that uh, would show me which way it was up. Well, there is no letter H. Uh, the second indication is this thing is quite accurately built. In fact, I've got a nice wedge. The back side is narrower than the front side, excuse me, the front side is narrower than the back side, and I'm within a 16th of an inch of the way it was supposed to be designed. Well, this, I have a little tolerance issue right here. It's not falling. I've got, I've got some interference here and just barely, actually that's tight. This part is tight, this part right here, I could do some grinding, and in order to get the, the, the barrel to fit right, I actually had to do a little bit of grinding with a sander on the inside in order for it to sit down flush. Now these are supposed to be, these trunnion holders are supposed to fit a two inch diameter, but this is not a two inch diameter, even though the hole was, the hole that I drilled here is exactly two inches, and so this is as well but it fits sloppy. So you're probably wondering if, why does that look funny? Well, meaning that this doesn't look straight. This was actually cast so that, so that this taper there, so it accommodated for the taper that we have here. So the, the issue that I'm having with it though is it's wider than the mount that I've made and and I made these pieces of wood an eighth inch wider than, than supposed to. I actually milled these, machined these, excuse me, I planed these out of a solid two inch wide by three and a half inch, well actually four inch piece of oak that was used for some pallets. So, so measurement wise, everything measures out the way it's supposed to. I made a few modifications. Uh, this back wheel is a little bit wider. Uh, instead of one and a half inch wide wheel, I used two one inch pieces of wood. There's some of the other material that I planed out of uh, the pallets, but um, yeah, it's not gonna affect the way it shoots. Um, it's just shooting a little flatter. The other issue is with this cannon is, is it, it, if I let go, it's almost perfectly balanced. I have to push it down and pull on it to pull it up. On other cannons, uh, where's that little guy? Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, well, the big one, the big one right here, you have to pull up pretty hard. It's about maybe 30 to 40 pounds of lifting force. That's about 10% of the weight of the cannon. And with that being the case, with this being a 100, 120 pound cannon, I should have to pull up about 12 pounds and it should want to sit back down at the base, but it doesn't do that. So anyway, the reason, the real reason is just to show this is a cool little way of wheeling your cart around, a uh, cannon around. And uh, I made 
the handle pretty beefy because I plan on using the same mounting system on this Carinod, which is a 300 pound uh, product instead of something that's only 120 pounds. So I'm gonna have to pull substantially harder to get that can to move around. So I still have to make the tools to load it and clean it out. So it's still not range ready, meaning I can't take it to the range for a test firing yet. And of course, I still have to mount the, the trunding mounts.